wax really shows up over the air. It sure does. Zoom in a little bit, as little as like hard as it is on this one begins. Yeah, it's not exactly a very good super. Gets rid of the bushes though, that's the part I like. You know, you got a lot of vegetation in front of you. Eric, you can stop for a moment if you want. Go now. <laughs> I have been up here looking around. How far did you go last uh, Saturday when you were up here? Up on that hill up there. Oh, you went all the way up there? That's where we're going. We cross over at this pool and... Right. It doesn't take you very long to cover a lot of territory. I don't know. And this is the battle axe. Show me what you're seeing to, to get. Well, it's like, like, it's like over to up there. Like, for example, I'm looking at that tree. Yeah. I'm looking at that little chunky, rocky bluff up there. And I'm figuring, okay, how am I going to get around that? Do I want to go left or right? So once you get up to that rocky thing, you'll remember in your mind what your plan was. Well, and there's like an area where there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight chunky boulders in a row up there. Towards right, the kind of up at, the, up at that side. Yeah. yeah. At the top of that thing. Yeah, I'm going to be okay. working my way probably towards that. Okay. And then we're going to hang a right, probably go around it. 
but you just you just look at it and uh, kind of get it in your mind and get a plan. And Maybe just kind of go through that whole point right there without moving that many yeah. spiders and just kind of jump across the drainage and let the carp set off to the... And I'll take that little side. So now my plan, basically. You know, that, you could go that way. You know, that looks you know, a little precarious. Great Most back. likely, there's going to be a route up that little gully to the left up there, so we'll shoot up this, uh -huh. hang a left, and yeah. drop in the brush. And... All right. I like that. I've been using my hands on this hike. That's why I knew I don't like the step. Well, I just move my hands down on the stick and place it, you know. And then use the other hand to grab a hold of the wall. I'm starting to get to where I really immediately recognize, you know, if I don't. Yeah. 
you to draw on this track for me to come out here. Oh, that's so cool. I would have had a tendency to want to do more fun and kind of follow your track, and I'm noticing on my GPS that we're pretty much off your track now. Well, I'm doing like I said. I'm yeah, yeah, you're doing what makes sense. Yeah, because you see the vision. It's the basic idea. Yeah, yeah. That's all you're following. So, like, when you're trying to do the loop part, you want to see how you want to get back on that section to start the loop. Then that's kind of where that would play in. third today. My two thirds hit the guard. Uh, I want to go up to that high point, so I'm just going to, I can't really see what I want to do here. I'm going to just go through there and just adapt as I go. Uh, okay. yeah. Where it was really critical, when we crossed DuPont Canyon from that bad ridge line, and remember I had to oh, spot yeah. that nasty uh, route? Yeah. Oh, that was a yeah. critical oh. route finding. You got a totally we weren't out. even sure we were going to find that. Oh, you know, I mean, that was like, oh, man. I think 